Anybody want to know what it costs me to service my race car? This is just transmission fluid and motor oil. You see right there, VR1 stuff. $150. Like I said, I get a discount. All right, now welcome back to the channel. Well, on my way out here to the draggy spot. We got the car loaded up behind us. We're going to do some hits in the street. Be the first time I've made a hit in the street probably since... Well, you end up, Kate. Okay? I'd say probably 2019 or 2020. It's been a while. But I went by Little Mountain Mike's earlier, picked up some slicks. I'll put him some used slicks that he had. So me and Kate went through this whole freaking fiasco of trying to go around on a Saturday at 12 o'clock and find a tire store that has a, one, either a working tire machine or two that is open. We went to five different ones and only one was open and that one had a broken tire machine. So we went to Harbor Freight Bought that little tire tool, changed the tires out on the car. I lifted the back of it up a little bit, hung the weight under it, put the wa put the uh, the water in the fuel cell in the back of it. We done everything we needed, running the transmission cooler lines. So now we're on this little spot up the road from us up here. Uh, it's not far from my shop. We move out here and see if we can make some test hits. If nobody's out there, Nigel's on his way to meet me over here. Nigel and John. We got Caden with us. So see how it does I, I long since the parking lot felt pretty good so we'll sit down duplicate to the street and if we, we can make a complete pass out of it so y'all ride with us thousand dollar set of rims thousand dollar set of tires free ranger what you think Caden? we was just out of gas i literally luckily i was going 55 when it cut off on us i dropped the clutch i said Caden, i think this thing just cut off on me Turn around and it bobbed, it bobbed about three more times. I said, yeah, I think it's about time for us to hit the gas station tank but we out. And we literally coasted into the parking lot. It cut off and went green. So, I need some fuel, now we good. Back on the road. We're just jabbing into the Arbor room. Freight for the win. All right, pull down on it. Pull your handle out a little bit, son. Like that, right? Let's get you some more leverage. All right, come on. Now rotate your wheel around a little bit. Got it. Spin it a little bit. There you go. Put some more butt into it. Push down hard. So this tool right here actually works pretty good for $50. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, Pittsburgh for the win. Time to unload it. Let's see what you want to do.
when I'm driving that car. <laughs> Now, uh, we got some work to do this week. Like I said, it ain't, uh, ain't as fast as it needs to be. Of course, the surface we were on, it felt pretty good. We went to the first spot and, uh, done pretty decent for the spot, for what the road it is and all that. There's a hump in it, so I kept getting out of the gas a little bit early. Driver's error, but sometimes, I mean, it run a decent time, a decent number. I can't really complain about that. And then uh, after we made them few hits there, I took it to my buddy's driveway because there was people coming, you know what I mean? People going out businesses and all that. So it was just easier to go once. We knew we had the mile an hour. We're on par where we need to be mile an hour wise, but we just got to get the 60 foot there. So we went over to, uh, to Bill Kistler's house. He's got a long driveway, he don't care. So we're made back to back to back to back hits. And we're getting there, like I said, we picked up 1.4, not 1.4, 0.14, picked up 0.14 in the 60 foot on his driveway over there. We still got leaps and bounds to go. We're still probably three, probably 0.3 off of what I think we need to be, or at least 0.2 off what I think we need to be, or yeah, 0.2 off what I think we need to be for where we're going. But I think uh, we're going to add some more weight to the car. I have about 320 pounds in the car right now in the back of it. You know, I, I normally keep like, I normally keep about 160 back there anyway. So we ain't got but 160 more back there from what we normally are. But we're going to build some uh, weight bars this week and add a little bit more weight back there. And then we're going to try it again and see and dial it in, play with suspension and see if we can't make it faster. What you saying, Nikki? You ready to go on Walmart? Yeah. She rushed me. Please I'm like. You. Please like. She rushed me. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I'll see you one later. Thank you. Bye.